This is the Apple one month overview reading for the month of September, 2024. It's currently July 16th, 2024, 8.29 PM Eastern time. Apple at the time of this reading is $234.82, that's USD. And the September Apple reading was created on June 27, 2024 at 1.37 PM Eastern time. That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. What you'll, what you'll see in this video is the overall trend direction for the month of September, as well as the week by week chart behavior, a couple of the best trades that we see for the month. Then we get into a review of our most recent past prediction so we can see, you know, we can measure our accuracy and then it should be a coupon code at the end of the video. Stay tuned for the, stay tuned so you can see that accuracy and the, and the coupon code. The, the overall theme and trend behavior for Apple in September is a decline offering opportunity to open up a long position and it's crossed with a rally along a diagonal trend line that, end, that breaks through horizontal resistance on a one month chart scale to meet a second resistance before falling back to somewhere between those two price levels. And it looks like that, that pattern happens at least once, maybe twice. We'll look at it in more detail as we progress behavior around the highest high we have a rally a notable rally into the higher highs that offers opportunity to close along or open up a short behavior around the lowest low we have a u-shaped dip that forms near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines so usually when you get the priestess as a low card it's a dip in between two highs very often so in week one it's pretty mixed we have a dip early in the week it's a short week and we have a dip early in the week and it kind of it's kind of like a price swing with a with a peak probably on the sixth followed by another decline and then a peak on the set on the ninth with another decline followed by a peak midweek another drop it really really mixed second week back and forth back and forth it's possible we have a sharp drop at the end of the week there and then another significantly mixed week but following a similar pattern to the s p where we have we have a significant peak on a one month scale there on the 18th 19th and we decline pretty notably from that into a trough on the 23rd so the, at the beginning of the following week in the fourth week again pretty mixed pretty mixed pretty, like price swings and, and a drop early in the week uh, another drop midweek and then it looks like we probably come back to we, we rally back to a peak towards the end of the week or maybe on the 30th. There's a bunch of solid trades here. I'll get into all of them uh, in the members version, but I am gonna give you a couple here. So there on the sixth, we have a notable move to the upside into a peak midday. I will utilize that peak as an opportunity to open up a partial short. Decline there from the fifth, the peak on the fifth, but more likely we're gonna decline on the sixth into a, a lowest low thus far. And you could close out of that. You could open up a short position in the midst of that move to the peak midday on the fifth and close out of that short position uh, early in the day on the sixth. There's a drop from a peak early in the day on the ninth. Um, I would look for that opportunity in the drop to open up a long position. You could close the long position either on the 10th or the 11th, I would be looking for a highest high thus far. It's it's either going to be the same price level as the high from the, from the 5th or it'll be a higher one. Now we're going to get into a review of Apple for the March prediction and see how we did give us a measure of what our accuracy expectation is for this reading in September. But before we do that, I just want to make sure that you're aware. Now we're going to get into the hour by hour chart behavior as well as timing the highs, the lows, and the best trade opportunities. But before we do that, I just want to make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. And we do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. It's a threefold agreement between the universe and anybody utilizing this information for personal gain. Nothing wrong with gaining from this information as long as you are simultaneously helping other people. So the way that you do that is you go to our website, Tarot for Traders. To the resources tab, 5% of all profits should be donated forward to a charity and 5% and of the profits should be donated back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use this app Wise, which is reliable, or you can use crypto. When you click on the crypto tab, you get all these QR codes. So you can donate in a bunch of different cryptos. It leaves you at 90%. That's way more than a stockbroker would ever leave you with. With that said, guys, make sure to follow through on the rule of karma. As long as you do that, the universe considers you an angel investor of the channel, it's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. All right. So this is Mar from March 1st. This is April 1st. So from one month here, and it looks like I had a lowest low on the fifth. Nailed that. That's a lowest low right there. I did say there was some possibility of it again on the sixth and we came close, but not quite there. And then we have a highest slide thus far on the sixth, seventh. Looks like it ended up being there on the seventh. Sharp drop from that high. Looks pretty solid. And then on the 13th, we have another highest high thus far. It looks like this is pretty, pretty much all in true. We had another one the following day. I was off by a day there. There was a prominent trough on the 15th and it looks like I nailed that prominent trough on the 15th. Prominent trough on the 11th, nailed that prominent trough. And then we have a highest high for the month. We have a highest high for the month here we're on the 21st, 20, on the 20th, 21st. And you can see how it took place here on the 21st. Possibility of it again. I, it looks like I probably missed. Well, no, I had it circled off here. So there was possibility of it again here around the 26th, 27th. And you can see right here on the 27th, it happened. The only thing that really was pretty bunk was that I saw another lowest low, like a sharp drop into a lowest low here. And it did end up being a sharp drop, but it wasn't anywhere near the lowest low. So that's not my best work, that piece right there. But the remainder of the reading really, really solid. As far as the trades, so there was a trade on the 6th, 7th at a, at a highest high thus far. You would open up a short position. You could have closed the short position on the 7th or the 8th, depending on where, but more likely on the 8th. And that held up pretty true. We got that sharp decline on the 8th. You could open up a short position on the 13th. Excuse me. You could open up a short position on the 12th, possibly add to it on the 13th. That would have been pretty solid. You would have looked to close out of it on the fortune card, or excuse me, you would have looked to close out of it on the 15th with the cash out card, the princess of discs. And that would have held up pretty solid, guys. I mean, these are really solid trades. 
The only one that wouldn't have panned out was maybe if we traded up based on the expectation of this low at the end of the month. But the remainder of the trades all solid. There's a bunch more in there. I'm not going to get into all of them, but my gosh, guys, really, really solid reading. I mean, the, the March reading to give you an idea of what we're doing here. The March shuffle file was created for you on January 8th, 2024 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. That's well in advance of March, my friend. So literally, really cream that. You can get all of the, the trades as well as the cross reading congruency information. We talk about where the one month fits on the on the one year and stuff like that. Any price level information, the day by day chart behavior, the timing of the highs and lows to the day, and all of the trades that we see as well as what type of entry and exit chart behavior to look for to get into and out of those trades. All that stuff in the members version. Really great way to support the channel. Uh, without the people supporting the channel with the members version, we would not be able to put out this free content. So much love and appreciation goes out to you. If you're interested in that, guys, you get it here. The way that you can get a custom reading done, like you have a ticker or, or a crypto symbol that you're interested in, you can get a custom reading done here um, under our services, SO Meta Post. Scroll all the way down, custom monthly reading, click here to order. This is one of our pricier items, but the information that you get, you can't find anywhere else. Nobody even comes close to the same accuracy or detail. Now, keep in mind, we're not right all the time. So never trade like we are. You will regret it. And also give it plus or minus a day of wiggle room here or there, depending on if the sequence of events is right on point or a little bit off. It could be a day here or there, but the sequence of events always remains accurate. So as long as you remember those things and you trade responsibly, you should do pretty good with this information, my friends. Again, found nowhere else, totally undervalued. You just put in the, the month that you're predicting and the ticker symbol or crypto. Specify crypto if it's crypto and add to cart. Much appreciation to everybody that does that.